What is up everyone? This is your boy, Mr. Product Reviews. And today we will be doing actually a continuation of the Ultra Detox 24 hour cleanse review. So if you guys wanted to see the unboxing, what's inside a box, 360 view around a bottle, be sure to check out my previous video, which I did all of that. There should be a cart somewhere around here that you can click on to check that out. But for the purpose of this review, I am only going to focus on the detox process of this review. So I'll be basically drinking stuff from the box one and box two bottle based on the instruction. And so let me just show you what the instructions are about. And I've already started my process. So basically you start the day with a light breakfast followed by a light lunch. And then at 2 p.m. you pretty much just stop eating. And I did add some extra notes here where at 2 p.m. you might want to take a before photo because as you know, seeing is believing and being a product reviewer, I wanted to know if this stuff works for me or not. And so, and also be sure too that like, you don't drink any water if you don't have to. I mean, if you are thirsty, you're dehydrated, definitely drink water, right? But if you, get, if you can like hold yourself from drinking water, that'd be preferable. So in the instruction here, it says if you are thirsty, so you would sip water. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I will try not to drink water if I don't have to, but if I have to, I'll definitely, right? Do drink some water. <laughs> you don't want to be dehydrated. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a tally on the stuff that we need for this 24 hour detox cleanse with Ultra. So for the detox one bottle, you are going to need um, organic apple juice. And the instruction was very specific that it says organic apple juice. I mean, maybe you could do, do it with conventional apple juice, but if you're gonna do this, you might as well do this right. So just make sure you have organic apple juice with you. And then another thing you need to have is uh, an, an organic grapefruit. So uh, make sure you also have a grapefruit. So the grapefruit is for the detox two bottle. And also just some accessory things like, you know, something to mix with. And this is not on the documents itself, but a buddy of mine who done this detox before has told me that uh, it is much easier to drink the detox two bottle with a straw. So that's why there's a straw here. So basically this is kind of like what you need for the setup. And in the next part, I will go ahead and mix the detox one bottle. As you can see here, I have the detox one bottle here and the plastic wrap, I have already removed it in the interest of time. I'm gonna go ahead and open this cap. There should be, I assume, yep, a safety uh, protection lid on it which makes me feel very safe. So I'm gonna see if I can get a, a nice angle. So you see, this is kind of how it looks like. How it looks like. I can smell it all from here too. It smells a little bit kind of like herbally, if that's a word, kind of herbal. <laughs> and uh, let me just pour some here. I'm gonna... Oh, come on. Yeah, so it looks like... So yeah, it looks brown from down here but as you can see it looks like just these white crystal and uh, let's see the texture yep the texture feels like it's kind of grainy almost soft it feels like almost powder like uh, just a little close-up if you guys want to take a look at it so it, it is in a crystal form and I'm just gonna drop this in there for a sec so so how much Apple juice do you need? How much organic apple juice do you need? You need about three cups. So this is three cups of apple juice. So basically how it breaks down is you, we're gonna, I'm gonna drink this four times. So it'll be broken down into six ounces each. And based on the math from Google and assuming that Google told me the right math, one cup is eight ounces. So um, basically how that equates to is three cups for 24 ounces. And like I said, assuming that Google Gave me the right math. I think this is the right measurement. So this is three cups of apple juice. And what they dictate is you drink six ounces. So what helps too is this bottle is about six ounces per the instruction. So you could actually use this bottle if you want. You want what you, I guess what you will have to do is empty this content and then use this to pour your apple juice in and then pour it back in. So if you're gonna use the bottle, you wanna do it four times because you will be drinking this detox one thing for four times during this whole duration. 
So just an FYI, if you don't have any measurement tool, you can use this bottle. Just make sure you do it four times. But this is um, three cups of apple juice. So I'm just gonna empty out this whole content in here and hopefully I don't get it all over the place. So I'm gonna empty this. All right, a couple of taps. All right, looks like I got most of it. Let's, yep, okay. So I guess I'll just, you know, stir it in. And it's, like I said, it's I can still smell the herbal from this. Doesn't smell bad, by the way. It does not smell bad. It just smells herbal. If you ever been to like a uh, apothecary, you'll know what I mean. Just really herbal. So I'm just gonna stir it, give it a nice good stir. And then next part is I'm just going to put this on the fridge and add per instruction over here. So basically this is where we are at. So at 6 p.m., I will drink the first six ounce of the detox one. So stay tuned for the taste test. So now we are ready for me to do the taste test on the detox one bottle. And in terms of the instruction, this is where I'm at. So let me just focus on the camera a little bit. So this is where I'm at. At 6 p.m., drink six ounce of detox one. So I am like, if you will, the first step. So this is kind of how it looks like. Uh, you probably saw that in the previous scene, but this is all mixed and you can't really see any settlement. However, when I first took this out from the fridge, uh, there are some settlement over here. So you see, you see this very, very little brown stuff at the bottom. So that's the settlement that it precipitated. So um, what you want to do is you might just want to take like a uh, spoon or something and just mix it up real good just to just so the mixture is nice and mixed before you drink this. And so I'm going to give it a taste test and let you guys know how this tastes like. It tastes, doesn't taste bad actually. Um, probably partly because of the apple juice. And also I forgot to mention that if you don't have apple juice, you can use water. However, it's not recommended because organic, organic apple juice is more effective. This is not, that bad tasting. I actually expected a whole lot worse. My buddy told me that it's a little bit bitter tasting. And to me, it's not. Uh, it doesn't taste bitter at all. It is a little bit on the sour side, but not too bad. Not too bad. I can drink this easily. So not too bad. So again, I will report back when I do my, let's see, when I do my 8 p.m. Uh, six ounce of detox drink. And I'll let you guys know how I feel by then. So now it is 8 p.m. my time, so I am ready to actually drink the second portion of this Detox One drink. And before I drink this, I just wanted to let you guys know about how I'm feeling. I am feeling a little bit of, you know, dizziness. I, I haven't felt nauseousness at all. I just feel a little bit dizzy, a little bit of a headache, not too bad, but this is all to be expected during the cleanse. So uh, in the next portion, what I'm, I'm going to do is around bedtime, I'm going to mix in the uh, Detox uh, 2 bottle and I will let you guys take a look in terms of like, you know, what's inside, how it looks like, how it tastes like, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now is about 10 p.m. my time and it's pretty much around the time where per instruction over here, let me just zoom in on this camera here, that it's time for me to uh, mix this grapefruit slash lemon into detox two bottle, drink the whole mixture within five minutes. And as soon, soon as you finish drinking a detox two, lay down on your right side. Uh, this will, looks like this position allows the detox two to pull at the end of your liver, creating a vacuum effect to pull the toxins out of your body. And if you hear rumbling and grumbling in your stomach or bowels, it's okay, you might, you may go to sleep in this position. So pretty much um, just a quick update on my end. I already feel a little bit of rumbling and grumbling already sort of in my stomach. And uh, I also feel a little bit sluggish and tired, a little bit headachey. And as I was told, this is perfectly fine. So I will just kind of like let this, you know, let this thing you know keep going work its way let you know let the detox stuff just keep working its way through my body and so as you can see it's time for me to mix basically this detox two stuff 
into a grapefruit and I just have a grapefruit here just for demonstration purposes and so this is the juice here it only takes one um, I guess you could use two but per instruction is one so here we go one grapefruit juice here and this is the detox tube bottle and I'm just gonna open it okay so now I got this bottle open have to punch through the hole here and you can't really see much from here so i'm just gonna take a spoon and pour some out and just curious if how that looks like so it looks like this just clear liquid and i'm just gonna smell it and in fact actually it doesn't smell like much it um almost there's no smell to be honest with you uh, i think it's, it's kind of like an oil base liquid here doesn't smell like anything at least to me so now i'm just gonna pour this in all right put this stuff in yeah it looks like kind of oil base i'll pour the rest of the stuff in here and i think this is the reason why my buddy was telling me to use a straw because it looks very it looks oily right so it's probably easier to drink it with a straw than try to like gulp it <laughs> so all right, got the whole content in. And so I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. All right, so let's bring this up to you guys. So yeah, as you can see, this is definitely some type of oil base here. And I think it is some type of oil. Let's go back to the ingredient here. Zoom in the camera. Oh, there it goes. Yep, so it looks like it is probably most likely organic um, safflower oil. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna do a quick taste test. So basically at this point though, um, if you're ready to go to sleep, then you should probably drink this within five minutes and lay on your right side for 20 minutes at least. And if you can, lay on your right side for the rest of the night so that per you know the documentation that is gonna create this vacuum effect for your liver and what have you. So if you can, sleep on the right side for the rest, rest of the night. But if say, if you're not ready to go to sleep yet, then what you wanna do is you could just store this in the fridge and when you're ready to go to sleep, take it and go to sleep. So I'm just gonna do a quick taste test now. Hmm, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all, actually. I thought it would be way worse, honestly. It tasted like a grapefruit juice, honestly. Yeah, it's actually pretty pleasant tasting. I think if I have to choose between bottle one and bottle two, bottle two is definitely tastier. It's, I'm not saying that bottle one is not tasty, but, it, but if I have to choose between the two, I think bottle two is definitely way better. But overall, I actually thought the stuff would be a lot worse tasting, but it's not. So I'm actually pretty happy. So like I said, at this point, uh, go ahead. If you're going to sleep, you'll drink it now. And if not, put it in the fridge. And when you're ready, that's when you want to drink it and make sure that you lay it on the side. Oh, and also one last thing too is make sure that you don't mix for whatever reason, right? Like I'm not sure how you guys are mixing this up, but make sure that you don't mix the Detox 1 bottle with the Detox 2 bottle. And also do not eat while detoxing, which uh, actually I forgot to mention. Yes, uh, please don't eat. <laughs> um, so there you go. And I will report back. Okay, so it is the next day. And since last I reported, I went to bed. And till now, which is the next morning, is about 7 a.m. my time, if you're watching this. And so I just want to put a disclaimer somewhere around here that like I'm going to say like, you know, through the magic editing, it's like TMI. But by the way, so this might be TMI for the most part, but I think this is an important part of the process that I need to talk about, which is the bowel movement. So again, viewers, uh, if this is too much information, feel free to just scrub through this. I'm going to have a disclaimer to make sure that to let you know that this is still TMI. And as long as this disclaimer is out, then you're probably safe. Probably. I promise I'm trying to make it as safe as I can. So um, I think talking about the bowel movement is really important. And per documentation, literature right here is once you start experiencing bowel movement, you may go through two or three strong bowel movements in a short time period. This is normal. Once you start evacuating your bowels, start drinking lots of water. Okay. So uh, what transpired between uh, the last 
clip, if you will, till now is I had two bowel movements and they are both quite strong. The first one being the being like, you know, I had the runs. Uh, if any one of you had Taco Bell, right? And then you, at 2 a.m., you know, they call it a 2 a.m. runs. Uh, that's, was the type, that was the type that I got the, the, for the first one. And now on the second one, which is this morning. And so a little bit about that too is I had this, so I couldn't, I didn't have a good night's sleep last night. And partially being is because I had this like low level stomach ache. And I think this is to be expected. I think everyone is a little bit different. Like pe people felt hungry a lot. I did not feel hungry for this process. I'm actually feeling okay, even though I haven't eaten since 2 p.m. as of yesterday. Um, I didn't feel that, but I did have this low level st stomach ache throughout the whole night. And I think it's because my body is just naturally working through ejecting or expelling these toxins. So as of this morning, when I woke up, I had to go, I had to go to the bathroom. And in that bowel movement, I did find these little gel likes about the size of this, not very big, but there's, there are a lot, like the size of these gel like shamrock green stuff. Um, I was talking to my wife about it. My wife was like, it's probably bio. So it, she's a biologist. That's why I feel comfortable talking to her about this stuff. And so she, it's, it's, it's bio, according to her. So I think, you know, this stuff is working. This stuff is clearly working. I am still a little bit tired. It's probably because that my body is still work, eject, expelling out, working as, you know, is way through, you know, ejecting out these toxins. And plus, I didn't have a good night's sleep. So overall, I feel a little bit tired and sluggish this morning. But again, I think this is to be expected. All right, that's all I'm gonna talk about in terms of this, and I think this stuff is working. So I'm gonna take out this disclaimer, and then I'm just gonna go, gonna go to the next step, which is step two, I'm sorry, day two, day one. So I'm gonna drink another six ounce of Detox One. So this is another six ounce of Detox One. As you can see, it's been in the fridge for about 12 hours. It smells the same. Uh, consistency wise it looks the same but I just want to show the viewer how that looks like and you don't see a lot of settlements anymore so it might have dissolved or maybe I gave, gave it a good mix so there you go I'm gonna drink this and I will report back okay so it's been two hours later and I am almost in the last step of my journey so I am at the point that I'm going to drink the final six ounce of Detox One. And again, let me uh, explain kind of what happened between since I took the Detox One this morning till now. And again, it might be TMI, so I'm gonna put a little disclaimer down here just so people would know that this is a little bit, it might be too much information, but again, I think it is worth it to sort of explain my experience. So I did have another bowel movement between since I woke up till now. And again, it is a, you know, uh, a, a, it, was like, it was like a decent, I think it was probably the last of it, of my body expelling the toxins. And I have just started to feel a little bit peckish, a little bit hungry. And your hunger level might be different between different people. I'm a very, I'm, I'm a small frame guy. So probably that's the reason why I don't feel as hungry compared to other people. So uh, do realize that I think your hunger level might be different for, for, for each person. So without further ado, I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and drink this. And, it, and like I said, I'm almost at the last thing of a journey. So after I drank the final six ounce of Detox One, you may eat your first meal four hours after drinking your final six ounce of the Detox One uh, mixture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink this and then wait four hours and then eat. And if there's anything interesting that happens between now and then, I'll report my results. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wait 24 hours just so my body can sort of like readjust and then I'll give sort of like my final conclusion as to how I feel and that's where I'll show you my before and after pic and my, my whole experience now that I have 24 hours to percolate on it. So stay tuned. So I lied, it's actually been 48 hours since my completion of the Ultra Detox Cleanse. And one of the things that the literature, and I think this 
could be a assumed knowledge, which I didn't know because I never done a, a, a detox cleanse before, is the fact there is a healing period after you detox. So basically what happens is when you detox, you're spelling all these toxins and, and whatnot. It takes tremendous energy for your body to expel all these toxins. So therefore, your body goes into a healing process where your body just basically focuses all that energy back in your body and try to heal itself. So that's what they talk about when you do a detox is you will feel worse before you feel better. So for the last 48 hours, I've been having some sporadic elimination, not big elimination, but I did have sporadic elimination. And I did feel a little bit sort of like, you know, you feel like you're, you're, you're at the borderline of being sickish. And I did have some headaches as well. And, but the most part for me was I was just tired. I just felt tired and I felt a little bit woozy and hazy, a little bit of incoherent with how my body feels. And that's where I found out about that there is this healing process. So just as a disclaimer that, that guys, if you are doing this, just make sure that like you're, this is what your body is supposed to do. So don't be alarmed. Here are some tips and hints that I wanted to share about the Ultra Detox Cleanse. If you are planning to do it as a couple, just be sure that you both don't share a restroom. So for example, I live in an apartment and we have one bathroom. So your body is going to eliminate and it's, it will probably be difficult for you know, a couple or more to coordinate the bathroom schedule. So just if you have one bathroom, it might be advantageous to sort of stagger that this detox. So maybe, you know, you might do detox this week and then once you're complete, then the next person will start instead of doing it together and you're going to have trouble with the bathroom schedule. And when you drink the detox to blend, it is much easier because the ingredient and let me just show it to you guys again, is basically uh, safflower oil. So we are basically drinking safflower oil and it is much easier to drink that with a straw versus, you know, you try to gulp it, you know, in a cup. And also, plan this out, guys. Um, for me, it took me two days to sort of like recover, if you will. And, and different people have different recovery schedule and as for me, I was talking to my buddy who also took this detox before. What he told me was, because I've never done one before, therefore it probably takes two days. But if you regularly take you know, detox cleanse and what have you, this, your recovery period might be a day or maybe half a day. So again, I guess the reason why it took me two days was because I just have so much toxin build up, you know, over 38, 39 years of my life. So therefore, I think it just took a little bit more for my body to... Recover. So like if you have never done this, I would say give it yourself like 48 hours after the cleanse to feel better. So, so in this portion of the review, I want to talk about the before and after pick. Overall, I lost six pounds. It was pretty phenomenal. Just over a 24 hour period, six pounds of, you know, toxins, which is great, right? So I feel really good right now, as I mentioned before. And as you can see, here's my before on the left and here's my after on the right. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Like I do feel my stomach definitely got smaller since the cleanse. And I just feel like my body is just more sculpted as well. And uh, I'm gonna try to draw some you know, lines around so that you know, I can kind of point out you know, which part of the body part where I feel slimmer sometime maybe because I'm a, like I said, I'm a small frame guy. So like, you know, the, the because I'm small frame, the differences might be hard to see in, in a picture, but I do feel that I am slimmer. And also I weigh myself and clearly I lost six pounds. So if you're curious about the ultra detox instruction, or if you're wondering where to buy this product, that should be included in the video description below. So be sure to check that out. And in the coming days, I will be uploading additional videos on other Ultra products that I have purchased. So be sure to look out for that. And other than that, if you enjoy my review, if you think this is, if you learned something from it, be sure to like, comment, and definitely subscribe to my channel. It will mean a great deal to me. Other than that, 
Mr. Product Reviews out.